Hey, what up everybody? Best news we have heard in the world of Impact Wrestling in quite some time. Let's get it. Hey, what up? This is BQ. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel, the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. So you definitely want to be a subscriber here at the Lounge. If you are happy with this news that has come out, give this video a thumbs up. Impact Wrestling is going to have a new home pretty soon. Anthem Sports and Entertainment has purchased a minority share in HD Net. So they are now the controlling owners of the company. HDNet is the parent company of HDNet Movies and, yes, Access TV. So the rumors are good. I hate doing this for my car, folks. Anytime I do this for my car, it's going to be pressed for time. So I'm really sorry. I hope the wind's not bothering anybody here. But I just got out of work and really wanted to talk about this because I'm excited. You're excited. Now, Anthem has put out a press release on the website where they're excited about the digital and global reach and expansion. Screw all that. Impact is going to have a new home soon enough. It hasn't been officially announced, but obviously it's going to happen. Access TV. Now, a lot of people may know the name Mark Cuban when you're talking about Access TV. He's going to stay on as an equity partner. So, you know, kind of a minority shareholder. So, you know, a lot of people have already, I've been Trust me, my freaking DMs and all that have been blowing up. A lot of people are saying, hey, you know, can Mark Cuban have some kind of role in this? Uh, if he's an equity investor, I'm sorry, just has an equity stake in it, then he's pretty much just there for the paycheck at this point. What's really interesting, though, is Steve Harvey uh, partnering with Anthem. He's going to have a seat on their board of directors. Now, he's going to be a strategic partner and investor in Anthem, not an impact. So a few people are confused on this. It's going to be in Anthem. And he's going to be working on content development. So this is really good because I've said this before in many uploads. When you're on a station, when you're trying to put impact on a TV station, the other programs on the channel do matter. You do want to have a home where the target, target demographic does hang out. Now what was the problem with Pop TV and with Pursuit? Now Pop TV, which was the TV Guide channel, a lot of old movies, a lot of old shows, reruns. I mean, Shit's Creek? Come on. They had a couple other original shows on there, but Impact was like, did the highest numbers. They were the first or second best show, and they weren't even, you know, doing the best numbers in the world. So Pop TV, even though it was in a lot of homes, was not a good home for the company. And then obviously you got Pursuit, which is a hunting channel, and Destination America, which is a pretty good channel, but was also not a good fit for Impact. You know what this all means, though, for Impact Wrestling? It means stability stability that's something that ring of honor has no matter what they're going through with the company with sinclair and everything no matter what they're doing they have that stability impact now has that stability they're not going to cancel their own show access is a music and lifestyle channel that is already a home to mma and yes professional wrestling you can find women of wrestling on the channel and New Japan Pro Wrestling. I'm not the biggest New Japan fan in the world, and I just got into women of wrestling. And you can see several of the knockouts. Kiara Hogan's there. Alicia Edwards is there. Tessa Blanchard's there. Jessica Havoc is there. Um, I think that's the only ones from Impact. Diamante is on there. Uh, Giselle Shaw, who has been on Impact Programming, on Impact Plus, and the specials uh, part when they partner with BCW. So Access is an outstanding home. It is in 50 million houses, which I think is actually less than Pop TV. But this does reach the tar target demographic. And why is that important? Think of a channel like MTV. Okay, they don't have music anymore, but a lot of their shows, you know, appeal to the same type of audience. So you might be on there watching 16 and Pregnant or whatever the hell they call that show, Teen Mom, whatever it is. You're watching these shows and you kind of start binge watching, you get hooked in, you watch the commercials, and then you start seeing other programs that might appeal to you. As I said in the opening, this is the best news Impact has gotten in a long time. Well, the best news us as fans have gotten in a long time. Uh, a lot of the wrestlers are excited about it. You can see them uh, posting on Facebook, retweeting. Everyone's really excited about this. This is good news for the Impact fans because, again, what is it? It is stability for the company. Now they have to continue to put on the good, the great, the amazing product that they're doing. They have to continue that momentum. Don't overthink things, but continue that momentum. Put the product out there. It should start getting in front of new eyes 
and I don't believe access reports numbers so that's really a good thing I know we're always curious okay what's the viewership remember on pop TV we started every Tuesday or Thursday whenever it came out we we're like what's the viewership what's the viewership now we don't have to obsess over that anymore and the wrestling world can't obsess over it either and they can't turn it hold it against impact you know what I mean so this is good stuff but now we have a channel that has New Japan and now people are saying okay what well, is a partnership you know could it happen because now they're open owning the channel that's got New Japan on it I don't know because from what I understand I've only watched New Japan on there maybe 10 times I think they're actually reruns aren't they older episodes you can let me know in the comment but also let me know how excited you are in the comments give this video a thumbs up like I said subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here and the last thing I want to say if you do not have access TV I have a video coming soon how you can watch Impact Wrestling if you do not have access TV so Keep an eye out for that. This is BQ. I got to get home. I got an hour drive. I'm probably going to have to try to edit this thing while I'm sitting in traffic. I will talk to you soon. Peace.